Sibusiso Zuma is a legend in Denmark and today we take a look at Sibusiso Zuma's lifestyle in 2021. But before we resume, please take your time to like this video as well as sharing it across all soccer fanatics. Sibusiso Zuma was born in KwaZulu Natal in 1975, meaning as of 2021, he is 46 years old. According to reports, in 2016, Sibusiso Zuma has lost his wife due to financial constraints. The former Mamelodi Sundowns and Orlando Pirates player hung up his boots in 2014 after an injury hit spell with Supersport United. The flamboyant star, who used to be a regular patron at the best nightclubs around the country, is now said to be drinking cheap liquor at Hammond's Daily local shabbats. People close to him said that Zuma has turned to the bottle and Upuza is in Gutu. That means he's drinking cause as he can't afford expensive booze. It is also been reported that the former superstar is not respected in his hometown, Amansdale, outside Durban. People mock him of his fallen financial status. Sibusiso Zuma's 16-year-old marriage to Zinte Ngoya Zuma seems to have expired. Zinte reportedly moved out to their matrimonial house in the waterfall suburb long ago and is now said to be living in Pine, Pine Town, west of Deben. When asked about their marriage, an irritated Zinte said, May I ask not to answer that question? I don't have any comment on that matter. Before their marriage fell apart, Sibusiso Zuma and Zinche were blessed with a baby boy. In 2020, the Copenhagen legend Zuma revealed that his son, Emily, would be placed in the club's academy system when he turns 10. The former FC Copenhagen legend aims to offer him a world-class platform to own his talent. Here are a few facts about Sibusiso Zuma. In his former club FC Copenhagen, Zuma was nicknamed Zuma the Puma due to his flexible body. On the 25th of June 2007, it was reported that Zuma had been involved in an incident in his home country, South Africa. After an altercation, there was allegations that he threatened to shoot a group of men at a party in Kokstad. The local police investigated the situation and Zuma was prevented from leaving the country for a period, but no charges were laid against the superstar. Zuma told in the 2002 documentary Zuma the Puma that his father was never supportive of his footballing career. He said his father never believed in him, telling him he would never be good enough and never coming to his games and always waking instead. When Zuma moved to Orlando Pirates, his father told him that the good players only play for the national team. Unfortunately, Zuma's father died the day before his son played his first game for South African national team. In 2010, Zuma opened Sibusiso Zuma Foundation, which works with young kids with HIV. The foundation also works to prevent and educate about HIV and AIDS and the prevention of HIV infections or the distribution of information relating to HIV and AIDS. Sibusiso Zuma has since designed his own clothing brand called Reloaded. And his logo is of his famous overhead strike. According to reports in KZN, it is very hard to recognize Zuma right now. The prolific striker who once owned luxurious cars like Ferrari and the sports Porsche 911 is rumored to be now driving an old Toyota Tez.
Zuma started his playing career for South African clubs, Mighty PA, African Wanderers and Orlando Pirates. In June 2000, Zuma joined the Danish club FC Kepenhagen where he blossomed as a player. In 2001, Zuma was tied for 29th place for the 2001 FIFA World Player of the Year award. He helped the club win its second Danish football championship and was voted into the club's Hall of Fame for his outstanding efforts in the 2004-2005 season. In 2006, Zuma was voted number one by the fans amongst the greatest profiles to have ever played for FC Kopenhagen. According to the player himself, he played his best football at FC Kopenhagen, which still feels like his second home. The player still enjoys a legendary status at FC Kopenhagen as the best player ever to play in the club. Zuma thinks he owes everything to FC Kopenhagen and that he enjoyed every day he was at the club. In the 2004-05 season, FC Kopenhagen won its second Super League champion after almost a decade without becoming champions. A 3 1 in the last FEM match of the season at the Pegged Stadium. The 2 0 goal was a bicycle kick by Sigusiso Zuma, who received the ball at his chest where he bounced it in the air and in the same motion executed an overhead kick. This goal was voted the Danish goal of the year and it was also voted the best Super League goal of the decade in December 2009. In 2013, Zuma's bicycle kick was voted the greatest moment in the club's history. A statue was made to honor the greatest moment by Sibusiso Zuma's bicycle kick. Zuma himself was invited by FC Kopenhagen and attended the Paken on the 18th of August 2013. After five years at FC Kopenhagen, Zuma was sold to German Bundesliga club Armenia Bellefield. The player played there for a further three years and on the 21st of June 2008, Zuma signed for Mamelodi Sundowns. The player then went on to end his career with the Supersport United. His international career was a rosy one as he represented South Africa 67 times. He played for his country at the 2002 FIFA World Cup. Zuma was the captain of the South African national team at the 2006 African Cup of Nations tournament.